Hello, my name is BB2K and in this video, I'll be showing you how to assemble the Geekworm Raspberry Pi 4 X825 kit. This is the recommended hardware setup for running Ronin Dojo. Starting with the X825 expansion board, Take the spacer that came with the metal case and the round head screws that came with the expansion board and we are going to screw them into these four corners. Take the round head screws and place it on the top of the board and screw the spacer to the bottom of the board. and do that for each of the corners. The X825 board came with two different type of spaces, the shorter version and the longer version. Take the shorter version of the spacer and also take the flat head screws that came with the expansion board. And this time, we're going to thread them through these four corners. Place the flat head screws from the bottom of the board and screw the spacer from the top. Next, take your 1TB SSD and insert that to the SATA port at the bottom of the expansion board. Take the two remaining round head screws and secure the SSD in place at these two locations. Take the micro SD card with Roland OS installed onto it and insert that into the Raspberry Pi 4 SD card slot. Next, take the spacer with the male end that came with the power management board and we will be using the spacer to secure the Raspberry Pi 4 on top of the expansion board. Next, take the power management board, carefully align the GPIO pins, and insert the power management board onto the Raspberry Pi 4. Take the flat head screws and use them to secure the power management board.
Next, take the two pin power cable. Insert that to the 5 volt power socket on the expansion board. Connect the other end to the 5 volt out connector on the power management board. Moving on to the metal case itself. Install the power switch to the case. And then simply slide the Raspberry Pi into the metal case just like this. Insert the power switch into the momentary switch port on the power management board. Next step is to secure the internals onto the metal case itself. Take the long screws that came with the metal case and then screw them into the spacer through the bottom of the case. Now we are ready to close the enclosure. Take the back cover and fix it in place with these four screws. Last but not least, insert the USB 3 bridge. To power this Raspberry Pi, you will need a 5 volt 4M DC power adapter. Connect your Raspberry Pi to your network via Ethernet cable. And plug in the power connector to the side of the case onto the power management board. Now you're ready to power up your Raspberry Pi.